All right, hey everyone, Riley here from becomingandelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about a multi-bit screwdriver by Klein Tools and my favorite one, which is the 11 in one. All right, so I also have another one here by uh, Klein Tools. It's like the heavy duty one, but the 11 in one was my absolute favorite for its size, like it wasn't as big. Um, also, it has more bits in it than the heavy duty one. And if you've never seen one of these, they're super useful. You can just pull out and you have different, you have two different bits, then you have a nut driver, and then you have another nut driver. And as an electrician, it was just so versatile, all right? I highly, highly recommend an 11 and one. And I'll walk you through uh, more information in this video about when to use one and when not to use one and more details, okay? So before we get into this video, check out the free book I've written for you guys as apprentice electricians. Just go to becomingandelectrician.com forward slash subscribe and you can download my book absolutely for free by entering your, your name and email. All right, so, there's a couple things I wanna talk about before we get into these multi-bit screwdrivers, okay? So something like this is a multi-bit screwdriver and it's really useful for kind of like home use. That's what I keep it for. As you can see, that's why it's so fresh looking, right? So new. And it's really useful because, you know, you change out your bits, but it also has like one little nut driver in there too. But again, this is something for like home use. I wanna quickly talk about uh, like a multi-bit uh, nut driver. So I never really fully got to be able to use this to take the full advantage of it. But whenever I did, I always found it was really big when I had to use like smaller uh, nut sizes. So for example, something like this, you know, it's quite small, right? And then if you wanna get that same size, you can see that, you know, this is pretty big. So all I'm trying to say is sometimes things are really, really useful and sometimes um, it's better just to use like the regular product. And so for example, a regular screwdriver, in my opinion, I always found if I was doing panel work, a regular screwdriver was just more enjoyable to use because typically you're always using like that same bit over and over again. Uh, you don't have to worry about parts dropping, all right? And so that's where I would use like a regular screwdriver. A multi-bit screwdriver is really, really useful if you are like walking down the hallway, somebody calls you and you have to quickly diagnose something these things were absolutely amazing, okay? Uh, one thing to say before we cover them is Klein Tools also makes uh, stubby screwdrivers, all right? I just got this again, this affordable one by Pick Quick. And uh, what makes this really useful is again, you just pull it out, you can change your different bits. You also have a nut driver on here and this was really useful if I was ever doing like an exhaust fan and it was a tight space and you can just get it in there. As you can see, like it's quite small and it was so useful for that. But again, Klein Tools does make one as well. And you guys can check that out. Okay, so uh, the main point of this video is just the 11 in one versus the he um, heavy duty multi-bit uh, screwdriver. Klein Tools also makes a couple different ones of them as well, but these are the ones I've tried. Now again, I like the 11 in one because it was smaller in my hand. It fit better in my pocket. When I got this one, I just didn't enjoy it to put it in, in my pocket as well as it doesn't have as many bits. All right, so let me just show you uh, how it works just so you can kind of get a better idea, okay? So again, you pull it out, you have your two different bits and you have one nut driver size, okay? So this one is one nut driver size and you get your two different bits. Here is also a nut driver, okay? So let's just put that back. And it, it, I'm telling you, it was just so useful on the job site. You always just had to be careful, you know, make sure all your bits are in there. Um, you can see that it tapers down, and so you get a different nut size here, okay? So look, different nut size. I lost a bit, and that's why I ended up getting the multi, uh, uh, the heavy duty one, but it just wasn't the same experience as this 11 in one. So again, we have one nut driver, two nut drivers, three nut drivers, we have four nut drivers. On this one, I think you only get three. And it was just wasn't that same experience that I was always used to with the 11 in one. Um, as you can see, I'm missing a bit. And this is what happens when you miss a bit. So <laughs> I think Klein Tools does uh, sell replacement bits, but that's what happened to me. And to pull it out, just gotta do that. But as you can see, we have four different nut drivers, all your different bits. And this was just such a good experience. The size was awesome in the hand. Um, and I was just so happy with it. Now I'll quickly walk through the heavy duty one. Again, it doesn't have as many bits in it, like, you know, in comparison. And uh, it is just bigger. I didn't like how, like, you know, this was a great size and this is, I just found it was too big. All right, so again, you have your different bits, you have a nut driver and nut driver. So same thing, right? 
exact same thing as the 11 in one. And I'll show you this just so that you can see it. All right. So nut driver, same size on each side. And you got the uh, small flat head on this one. Uh, now, this is what I didn't like about the Multi, is it came like this, all right? So again, the, the 11 in one had another nut driver here. This has just one piece for your smaller Robertson, so your number six, and then your Phillips. And you have your nut driver, but I really, really liked the 11 in one because it gave you that one extra nut driver size. Um, it was just a way better experience. But yeah, it just allowed me to try the two different ones and that's this video. So definitely check out the 11 in one. This is what, this is my recommendation to you. Uh, it just allows you to be super versatile as an electrician out there. So if you enjoyed this video, you guys can download my free book for apprentice electricians by going to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. And if you wanna get more videos from me here, you guys can subscribe on YouTube. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, be on the lookout for more tutorials. I want to get kind of into hands-on math a little bit, just to kind of show you guys some stuff there. And always leave a comment if you've got questions or suggestions. Thanks for checking it out. I'll talk to you in the next video.